Strange and disturbing things are caught on camera all the time. Not necessarily always paranormal, but nonetheless interesting to watch. So today I present to you, Six and Strange Disturbing Things Caught on Camera. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Dark Moose, and in this video we have what seems to be a case of pareidolia at its finest. Now, if you don't know what pareidolia is, that's more or less the human mind playing a trick on itself and seeing faces where faces are actually not. Now, this looks like some kind of small creature with a face sitting at the top of a palm tree, but actually what this is, is just the way the palm tree's cut. Now, granted, this guy's shaky camera work doesn't help, but as he zooms in, it almost looks like there's some kind of creature, goblin, or cryptid sitting there. But really, that's just part of the tree, the way it's cut. Do you see some kind of creature with a face? I certainly do. I know for a fact it's not actually paranormal, but damn if my mind doesn't go straight to pareidolia. It's such a strange and interesting concept. I could do an entire video based on this just alone. You know, if you guys would like that, maybe let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know you want to see that. I was looking out his window at night when he sees this. A man by the name Gordon uploaded a terrifying video capturing a strange creature looking around in his yard. sees what looks like this humanoid creature in his yard, sitting on top of a dead tree. Many viewers believe Gordon might have captured a Kanama buck, a skinwalker-like being from Guyana who's believed to hunt anyone near its territory. So could this strange footage really be the urban legend of the Kanama buck, or a case of pareidolia? I'll let you decide. This video is brought to us by TikTok user The Grave Digger, and this is a video of different videos compiled together of what seemingly is fake food. Now it's no secret that the food in America is more or less poison, plastic, and chemicals and preservatives at this point, but lately with shrinkflation happening, we seem to see more and more food that is, well, fake. Things have only gotten worse with lab-grown meats, but essentially you'll see fruit that just doesn't peel right, ice cream that doesn't melt, Burger King sandwiches that are just more or less meat-like filler. Now, I personally have never come across any of this fake food, but again, there's enough people out there that document it that you gotta wonder. It makes me not really want to buy ice cream from the store anymore. And look at this chicken here. This is just like ribbons and shred. It comes apart in her hand. It's gross. Fake meat. <laughs> Please tell me. What kind of turkey? There are no ants on it. The ants, flies, they don't want it. You need light, bro? Nah, I'm good. A wire is coming out of the middle of it. Um, I really don't know what that is. Okay, today, bro, I had to get this as soon as I saw it in the store. What the fuck is this shit? Is that dead asshole? It's a rat. There's a rat in this shit. Y'all, why did I get it just to try it and fucking look, y'all? This is 24 hours later. Like, this is 24 hours later. Have you ever seen chicken break apart like this? Like, I literally just put my thumb in it and it just 
shreds apart so easily. Some type of plastic. Do you see the plastic right there? This video is brought to us by TikTok user for horror fans, and this is most likely just some kind of fan-made film or some kind of sketch with friends, but essentially we have a group of college students, I'm assuming. We're all on an RV. When somebody spots what seems to be a man in all black in the woods, he then takes off and jumps into one of their cars, stranding them with this RV. Now, there's probably more to it. If I had to guess, this looks like some kind of YouTube video, but I thought it was kind of neat, so I threw it on there. If it was true, could you imagine how creepy that is? You're hanging out with your friends, and all of a sudden, Somebody dressed in all black goes and steals your car. It's terrifying, especially because he gives off, like, ghost face vibes from Scream. But, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is legit, or do you think this was just something filmed for the internet? Times are tough out there. Maybe stealing cars is the way to go for this guy. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Lock the door. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. He was right there. Are you joking? No, I, I caught it on camera. Somebody right there. Is it locked? You caught it, right? He's not there anymore. You caught it on camera? I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. No, I Yo, he's not there anymore. He's standing there. Yo, there's nobody there there. Holy crap, no! Yo, there's nobody. What, what, what? Yo, what? No way. Yo, what the hell? Yo, I'm gonna scare him. Yo, 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 he's getting in your car, dude. He's getting in your car. He's getting in your car, dude. Go, go, go. Quick. Open this shit. Open it, open it. Bro, how do I open it? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take the car. Oh, no, no. Is it gone? Is it gone? No. Oh. Oh my god, no, he no, only way yeah. oh, yo, who the hell was <laughs> This video is brought to us by TikTok user Cryptic, and in this video we have somebody who comes across a mirror in the woods when they seemingly walk through it. Now, is it possible this person stumbled onto some kind of ancient portal or maybe some kind of mirror dimension? Maybe. Realistically, what I think this is, I think this is just fancy camera work, honestly with some really good editing. If they wanted to set up the whole things kind of feel off, they could have made the mirror look more aged. This honestly looks like a mirror that somebody just, they picked up at Target for like $19.99. Real basic. But again, it is very good editing. What do you guys think? Do you think that this person walked through the mirror and this is the mirror dimension? Or do you think this is just a really good play on camera angles? Personally, I'm leaning towards the latter. But again, if this isn't how you get to the back rooms, maybe this is how you access the multiverse. Food for thought. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. Did you like this one? This video is brought to us by TikTok user Lexi, Paul Print Emoji, Heart Emoji. And in this video, we have what seems to be a hidden camera within an Airbnb. Now, these seem to be becoming a more and more frequent issue. As nowadays, cameras can be hidden in anything. Like in this case, this is a USB charger that was left in the bathroom. But as you can see, once they unplug it, there's an SD card in it. And this is where it was facing. So this is gross. Be mindful, some Airbnbs do have cameras. However, no Airbnb should have a camera in the bathroom especially one like this. This right here, this is some pervert doing some gross shit. I'm glad she found it. Personally, I would have yanked the SD card out of it and put it back. That way they knew that I knew that they know that they're nasty. Anyway, that's my personal opinion on it. Just be more careful. And if you are going to go stare at an Airbnb, start checking. Went to go pee and then just saw this thing here. It's not lit up now because I unplugged it, but that was blue. That little hole took it out. Look, it's blue right there right now on that side. Oh, you didn't get to see that time. But this fucking SIM card. There's a SIM card in there. What is this? What are you? Number six. This video is brought to us by TikTok user That Is Impossible Official. And in this video, we have what seems to be a mysterious green light that is sweeping across the earth here in multiple videos. This has been seen more and more in Florida. Now, some people believe this to be extraterrestrial. Others believe this to be some kind of plane by the government scanning the area. Others say that this is LIDAR, which is a remote method of scanning the earth more or less to build like maps and such. But again, it's creepy shit. Imagine being there at night, you're ready for bed, you look out your window and you see like a big light flash like this. Guarantee somebody somewhere is getting triggered. 
I think the official explanation is that planes are scanning the grounds for construction projects. I'm honestly not too sure. Have you seen something like this? What do you think it is? There's several videos going viral right now of what's supposed to be green lasers descending from the sky. People's homes scanning the ground with that green laser. People started paying attention after this particular video went viral. In this video you can see a plane flashing a green laser and kind of scanning the ground. This made a lot of people start questioning what the heck was going on, where were these green lasers coming from? And then just a couple of months later a CCTV camera captured what looks like several green laser beams of light descending from space. Needless to say this caught a lot of attention and experts and researchers were saying that this probably came from a Chinese satellite but no one knows. What the f is that? Now this is where things take a really strange turn. Just a couple of months after there were several videos popping up all over the internet of what's supposed to be these green laser beams descending from the sky. What in the ever living fuck is that? This caught so much attention that it ended up on the news and they actually found out that some of the planes scanning the ground with these green lasers were owned by a company named Randico, but still no one knew why they were doing this. I was just getting home and I saw it going back and forth with a laser beam and it was, it scanned over me multiple times. I've never had flight radar until this happened so I'm like what the heck is going on? But it shows that what kind of plane it was and what type of plane, I don't know who owns it, it just as private owner. When you put the information Casey provided into the FAA website, it comes back with this information saying it's registered to Randigo. Little by little, people started researching about Randigo and they found out several patterns. In one of them, you can see several pictures coming from flight radar of the plane's paths. Whatever they're doing, it's as if they're scanning something, maybe weather patterns, maybe something else. In another Reddit post, someone found out that the company owns 33 planes and 33 employees. And I don't know why, but this raised a lot of red flags. This dude was going to crash into the house. Wait till you see the laser coming off the bottom of it. Check the radar map. He's 1,200 feet off the ground. You see that green laser coming off the bottom? And then another Reddit user posted something like this. This plane flew over me this evening and was spraying something. Smell was awful. So I did a quick research just to double check if this plane was owned by Randigo and guess what? It is. Strange, isn't it? What the heck is going on? It seems no one knows, but I want to know your take. What are these green lasers descending from space and from planes? What's going on? Well, 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 looks like we made it to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, maybe click some of those buttons down below, like like, comment, and share. And of course, the most important one, if you haven't already done so, is subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll scare you in the next one.